Hey everyone, it's Devra. I'm back and I'm here to tell you a testimony of how the Lord has touched my life in a miraculous healing way and I just can't wait to tell you guys. So I'm just going to dive right into my story and tell you what has been going on in my life and uh, just how God is so faithful and what he has done for me. So um, I usually don't tell people my personal struggles. Like um, I don't share that very easily with people. I don't want to burden anyone or, or just, you know, put that on other people or so I don't really share a lot of personal issues that I deal with. So, but this one, um, I've shared with a few people, few close friends and family members know about this, but not everybody does. So, um, back in 2018, August of 2018, um, I had this really crazy situation happen where I started getting cold symptoms. And then I started um, getting a little swelling and itching um, on my face uh, between my eyebrows up on my forehead. And it was really, really itchy. It was like painful itchy. And then I started getting bumps all over my head and it was really painful to itch, but it was so itchy. My feet started swelling underneath and they were itchy as well. But it was like I was getting cold symptoms. Um, but then it, from like a Thursday, or no, that was a uh, Tuesday probably. Um, from a Tuesday to a Thursday, it had severely gotten worse. So on that, uh, by that Thursday, um, I had, you know, these swelling, itching, like just spots on me, uh, mainly on my, f my head and on my feet. And, um, I had a fever. And so I went into the, uh, walk-in clinic and I was misdiagnosed, um, and so they gave me some medication. I started taking the medication for it. Uh, that made things worsen progressively. So uh, that was on a Thursday. And so by Saturday, um, I was in the ER. Um, it had progressed extensively. I started getting um, like hives all over my body. It was so itchy. I was so swollen. Um, it was so uncomfortable and very painful. And so I ended up in the ER. Of course, they pumped me with uh, prednisone or whatever anti-inflammatory like, uh, and antihistamine stuff. Um, so I was in the ER, got that taken care of, and then um, I was released. So I was released feeling better. Um, and then I, uh, then the next day, I had severe swelling of the tongue and my esophagus was closing. Um, it felt like... Um, anaphylaxis. Um, the rest of my body was just really struggling. I felt really swollen. It was hard to move around. Um, and so it got worse. And so um, I ended up going to the ER three times. So I was at the doctor's like four times within this time frame. The last time um, I, I went in, before I went in the last time, I was trying to sleep and um, luckily my sister was staying with me and I, I remember my hands were swollen and I, they were numb, I couldn't feel anything. So I was putting ice packs on my hands and that was for a couple days I did that. And uh, I was in severe pain. My whole inside, like all my internal organs felt swollen and I, was, I had hives all over my body. I was swollen inside and out. And I remember thinking to myself and that, you know, I know my God heals. Because in First Peter, it talks about we were healed. By Jesus' stripes, we were healed. And in Isaiah 53, it talks about by his stripes, we are healed. And so if we were, then we are healed. And so I was proclaiming that over myself this whole entire time. I, it wasn't by choice that I went into the doctor. I, I did it because it was... Uh, intense situation. Um, otherwise, I would have waited for my healing. And so I believe, I believe that the Lord was going to heal me. I believed it. And I knew it. I knew I was already healed. So I was just proclaiming that over myself. But that last time, it was the next Tuesday, I was laying in my bed and my hands were swollen and I was laying there hard. It was really hard for me to breathe. I couldn't hardly breathe. And so I was praying and talking to the Lord and I said, Lord Jesus, I know you have healed me and I receive my healing now and I trust you. Your word is true and I trust your word and I 
I'm so sorry because I want to give you time to heal me. I want to give you time and I want you to be glorified out of this and I want to give you the glory. And I felt so bad because here I'm like suffering and I know the truth. I know it. I know what the word of God says. It is infallible. It is, it, it is truth and it is, it will always prevail. And I knew the truth. But then here I had to go into the ER again. So that was my fourth time. But I told the Lord, I want to give him glory through this. I want, I want to show that he has healed my body. It's not man. Because man can't heal. Only the Lord can heal. And, you know, man can give you medication to cover up a situation, but they don't give you get down to the, the, the actual source of it. So I remember laying in bed telling the Lord that I trust him. I know I'm healed because his word is true and that I received the healing but I felt bad because I didn't give him enough time and I'm like Lord I want to give you time I want to give you time to heal me and um, but the, the situation worsened and I ended up going to the emergency room my sister had to drive me because I, I wasn't even able to drive um, so the doctor helped me out there I got pumped with a bunch of stuff God only knows what they put in me but um, the swelling went down, thankfully, and I was able to get things under control. Um, so then fast forward a little bit. Uh, they tell me that I can't take, I shouldn't take ibuprofen because uh, it causes the hives to worsen. Okay, so mental note, don't take ibuprofen because that's usually what I would take. So now I have to take Tylenol, right? So I'm, you know, figuring out, okay, why am I having these hive outbreaks? And uh, after much, much research and much, much probing of uh, experts, I basically the Lord gave me this revelation. I mean, I was praying, I was needing answers here so that this doesn't happen again. And I was like, Lord, please reveal to me what's going on with my body because the doctors don't know clearly. I had an allergy just taken and dairy was one of the things that would cause my body to just go into crazy hives. And I, I asked, am I allergic to dairy? And all the tests came back negative. I wasn't allergic to dairy, but they did say that it could be a trigger food. So whatever it was triggering, like obviously after some time, I figured out that um, this trigger food, dairy, I have to avoid that too. So I can't take ibuprofen and I have to avoid dairy. Okay, so then I'm like, Lord, what is the, what is the source of this? Like what is going on? Like. I need to know because if dairy is just a trigger food that causes me to go in, into more uh, hive mode, and if you don't know me, I live off dairy, so this was really, really difficult for me because I love my cheese, I love my yogurt, I love my milk, I love everything dairy, and so when I'm transitioning trying to figure all this stuff out, and I'm trying to go dairy free because I don't want to risk having these hives anymore. And I literally couldn't even have like a little bit of dairy, otherwise I would start having hives. So I start looking at all the packaging and everything has dairy in it. Um, so basically that kind of cut out a lot of foods I couldn't eat. And I'm like, Lord, you know I love dairy. <laughs> <laughs> Please help me figure this out. So anyway, I figured out the source of this uh, total situation was my body was in extreme stress and I guess I didn't even really realize it I mean there were some stressful situations going on um, around me but I guess maybe I had internalized it I didn't realize and you know the Lord tells us not to worry and worry and stress are similar things and so it's just, you know not only is it a sin to worry but it's also very harmful for our bodies um, so anyway, here I am figuring out that it was because of stress that I um, am having these situations. And so fast forward, um, every time I would get like a minor cold, the hives would just come back with a vengeance. And so I was always dealing with any time my body was like worn out or if it had like a cold or... or um, yeah, it would just, I would get hives. 
pretty bad. I mean, it wasn't as severe because now I knew the first sign of hives, like if I saw a bump on my arm or something, okay, got to go, I can't eat any more dairy because actually between that time, the Lord actually allowed me to figure out, okay, well, when the symptoms aren't there, then you can have dairy. So anyway, that's all it is. It's only symptoms, guys. Like it's, it's not your sickness. You're already healed. So it's only symptoms. But anyway, so so I'm dealing with this, and uh, every single time, I like my body's worn out, whatever, the, the histamine in my body would just jack up, and I would get hives. And then I would have to avoid dairy, don't take ibuprofen, okay, because that would just make things worse. So fast forward a couple years, almost three years now, in August would be three years since I had my first like severe episode of this stuff. <clears throat> and... Um, back last month, I, uh, I had gotten a cold and so I went to the store and I got some over the counter cold medicine and I looked at the ingredients. I looked at the ingredients and like, I was starting to get like a few hives here and there. So I looked at the ingredients. I was like, okay, I got to cut the dairy out. Can't eat any more dairy right now. Look at the ingredients of this cold and flu medicine. Well, it wasn't flu. It was cold medicine. Um, and nothing struck a alarm in my brain at all about ibuprofen. So I took it that night. And because the cold was mainly like congestion in my face, this medicine, this cold medicine, like just, it, it triggered, you know, like, I mean, it worked. It like, it opened my nose and my nasal cavity and it opened up so I wasn't having any more congestion. But in the middle of the night, I woke up and my lips felt swollen and I felt swollen between my eyebrows and this was a familiar feeling that I had had uh, back when I first got the severe, severe episode of this hive outbreak thing <clears throat> and I was like oh lord um, and then the back of my neck like from the top of my shoulders up to my the nape of my neck uh, felt very swollen and sore and so I wake up in the middle of the night and I go and I look at myself in the mirror and I am unrecognizable. Apparently that medication, over-the-counter medicine, had ibuprofen in it and what had happened is now I, I could not recognize myself. My whole forehead was like full of fluid and swollen. My eyes were nearly closed. My lips were swollen. My, my whole face was swollen. My head, I mean it was just it was terrible it, and it was painful and it felt heavy in the front of my head like the whole like top scalp in the front of my head felt heavy and I was like Lord first of all what have I done uh, that must have had ibuprofen in it secondly I'm like Lord I know I'm already healed I'm standing on your promise I'm standing on your word I know I'm healed and so I just kept on praying over over the situation and, and proclaiming the truth of God's word over my life and his promises. And I was like, Lord, I you know, you are gonna heal me. You're gonna you're gonna manifest this healing now. It's gonna be. It's fine. This is once and for all. I'm gonna be healed, like physically forevermore. I will never have to deal with this again. I receive that. And so it was, it was really bad that day. Um, I had called the clinic just in case um, to get some medicine sent to my pharmacy. And I had the medicine sent to my pharmacy. Although I felt bad because I'm like, no, I believe that I'm healed in Jesus' name. I am already healed. So I felt bad for even like calling in the medication. But it was just like a backup emergency, even though that sounds bad like a backup, but you know, people were humans. So anyway, so I have, I have this medication in hand, but I refuse to take it because I'm like, no, I'm giving the Lord time this time. I'm giving the Lord time, no matter how long it takes, I'm giving him time to totally completely manifest the healing in my body. And so I, that whole day, I mean, that whole evening, like that middle of the night, whole day, totally swollen, so much pain, and I'm standing on God's promise. And 
the next day I wake up, I'm still in the same situation, I'm still in the same predicament, I'm still in the same shape as I was yesterday. My family pray over me, they always pray for me, So, um, but my, my dad laid his hands on me, he anointed oil and put it on my forehead and prayed for healing over my, my body. And uh, we were just praying and in, in deep prayer over the situation that uh, it would finally just have a breakthrough. And my sister, she starts to sing over me. And she gets this song from heaven, which is like an amazing, beautiful, anointed song for healing. It's incredible. She's going to record it and she's going to put it on YouTube. And I will put a link on here once that's finished. But so she's singing over me. Everyone's praying. I'm praying. And I'm believing this is it. This is it. This is going to be my healing manifested in the flesh. And um, it didn't happen like on the spot. The swelling didn't go down. I didn't witness any of that like miraculous, um, instantaneous, like boom, gone, healed. But um, I just stood on that truth. I stood on the truth of God's word in First Peter and in Isaiah 53. I stood on that. And I, I told the Lord, I want to give you glory for this. You are going to receive the glory for this healing because I trust you and I want to give you time. And so I gave the Lord time and the next day my symptoms, these, this swelling had basically disappeared. I Like literally all I had left was like a little bit of swelling like in my eyes that I could see. And, and then throughout that day, it disappeared. And I was, by the next day, I was totally, totally perfect. And there is nothing else that could be said but that it is the healing power of Jesus Christ. I didn't touch that medication, you guys. I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. I was healed. I am healed by the power of Jesus Christ. The stripes he took for me on the cross. And he took my sickness on the cross. And it's paid for and done. And he already took it. And now it's manifest in my body. And I'm completely healed. And you know how I know this? I got a cold like a week and a half ago. And normally under those circumstances, I would get hives. Not one hive, you guys. Not one hive. Not one hive. I'm completely 100% healed by the blood of Jesus. Because he is true. He, his promises are true. What he says is real. And he, what he says in his word is truth. And we can stand on that and we can trust it. We can trust his word. We can trust him. And we know that all of the sickness in this world is just a symptom and you either re choose to receive it or you choose to rebuke it in the name of Jesus. You either choose to stand on the truth of God's word that you are healed already or you choose to stand on what other people are telling you like doctors saying, oh, it's an incurable disease. Oh, you have this problem. Oh, this is your diagnosis. And then you receive it and you take it and you say, oh, I have such and such problems. You can have issues. You can have problems, but you don't have to own them. And honestly, when you own them, you allow them to take, to take ownership of your life and your body, and you allow that to control you. You can choose to stand on God's promises. You can choose to stand on his word, on his given word and his truth, because he never fails. And you can be healed too. But you know what? This healing wasn't instantaneous. Did I get healed back in August 2018? Did I get healed in September, October, November, December? No. I didn't get healed in that time frame because it wasn't time yet. Because it wasn't a lack of faith. Because I was reading today in Luke. And Luke chapter 17 verses... Uh, let's see here. Verse 11. Okay, so I'm going to read this to you guys. And it's, it's, this is the thing. 
Now it happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Then as he entered a certain village, there he met, or there met him ten men who were lepers, who stood afar off, and they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. So when he saw them, he said to them, Go, show yourselves to the priests. And so it was that as they went, they were cleansed. That means they were healed. On their way to the priests, they were healed. And that was an instantaneous healing. But listen to this. And one of them, when he had saw that he was healed, returned and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he said, and he was a Samaritan. So Jesus answered and said, were there not 10 cleansed? But where are the nine? Were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? And he said to them, arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. And when I read that this morning, I was reading Luke, and I came across that scripture, your faith has made you well. Jesus said those words. That's what it is. Your faith. Do you have faith that the Lord can heal you, that he, he is true to his word? Do you have faith? And it wasn't that I didn't have faith in August of 2018. I did. I told the Lord, I know I'm healed. I know I am, and I receive that healing right now. And I want you to be glorified and I want to give you time. And so every time I saw those hives, I said, I want to give you time. I want to give you the glory. And it wasn't until June of 2021 that I received that healing once and for all. But it's so he can be glorified, you guys. Jesus is so amazing, and he's so faithful and so wonderful. And he gets all the glory. Because no matter how hard it was, no matter how painful it was, he's faithful. He's faithful and he never lies. He's faithful and he always comes through with his promises. So if you have faith in Jesus that you can be healed, you are already healed by his word. He gives you his word that you are already healed. You have to trust him and you have to believe him and you have to have faith. The thing is too, is you have to give him time. And sometimes, you know, I know people have been dealing with sicknesses or diseases for a long period of time in their life, but don't be discouraged because healing is on its way. That manifestation in your physical body is on its way. It has nothing to do with, um, it has nothing to do with doing something wrong or, you know, the things that the enemy tries to tell you. Oh, you, the reason you're not getting healed is because you're blah, 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 whatever he has to say. But who cares what he says? Because the word of God is true. And what the word of God says is true. And you have to speak that over your life and believe in that. And so I just want to encourage you guys today, if you're dealing with any type of long-term situation, if you're dealing with any type of sickness, any type of disease, and you've just been waiting for God's healing, it's coming. It's coming. Healing is on its way. Just keep the faith. Keep the faith in Jesus that he is true to his word and give him time and he will perform it. And I just want to encourage you guys because it's not easy sometimes when it's painful, when we're dealing with things in our physical bodies that are limiting or, um, you know, things like that. And it's not easy. I've been there. You've heard my story now. I've been there. I know what it's like. And the thing is, Jesus is so beautiful. And he will always perform his word. So just keep, keep praying, keep believing in the Lord. Trust him and receive it today. Receive his healing today. I love you guys so much. And thanks for listening to everything. Um, I hope you guys were encouraged by this. And all glory be to God Almighty for his beautiful healing power. I love you guys so much. I love Jesus. I love you guys. It is a wonderful, wonderful thing to share this with you. Um, it's the healing I was waiting for and giving the Lord time to perform. And it's here. And I'm living it. I love you guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.